Beautiful people of planet Earth, it's time once again to talk about a brand new device, and this is the Cloud Cloud Lifter X. X, now wait a minute, wait a minute. They had this Cloud Lifter CL1, they had this Cloud Lifter Z. That's right, there's a brand new Cloud Lifter X, and I'm gonna talk to you about the differences between what has been on everyone's chain across the planet. If you've got an SM7B, uh, chances are you probably have one of these to get the most out of your microphone, but any dynamic microphone or ribbon microphone, your CL1 is going to give you 25 dBs of clean gain, and it's going to just be a caffeine boost generally for a lot of mics and like I said just has been a standard for a lot of people in order to get the most out of their dynamic or ribbon microphones but now we have this which is the cloud lifter X and the difference is it is a transformer based mic activator I'm gonna talk a little bit about what that is and what this will do versus what this will do, uh, you're hearing right now, the sound of an SM7B going through a Cloudlifter CL1 and into my Rodecaster Pro 2, which is my interface. But I'm going to plug into this Cloudlifter X so you'll be able to tell the difference in what it sounds like. You're going to get a more console style transformer, that tonal character that you would get out of that. What is a transformer, sort of console style transformer, and what does that mean? Basically, transformers are in a lot of recording studio consoles, and so things like you've heard of Neve consoles, you've heard of major consoles like that, they're all utilizing transformers. And so what you're going to get is more of a round, more rounder, warmer character to your voice or whatever you've got going through this and some people prefer it it's just a different sort of character to what you have going on and you may not only be able to like the sound of your voice but you're going to be getting even more gain potential out of the cloud lifter x than you would your cloud cl1 and the other thing that this has, and I'll show this to you really quickly over here, one of the differences here on the out section is this button that's right here. And if you can see this right here, which I'll switch to this, basically it says max. And if it's out, like it is right now, you're getting the maximum amount of gain that you could get out of the Cloud Cloud Lifter X. If I push this in, it's going to limit it as well. So just depending, there's just another way to attenuate and figure out what works best for you, for the microphone that you have. It just gives you more versatility for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch. So you're hearing right now the Cloud Lifter CL1 with my Shure SM7B. I've added about 37 dBs, decibels of gain from my interface. So normally it would be more in the 60 something range or high 50 range, but because I have the CL1, I was able to lower the amount of gain necessary from my interface because of the clean gain that's coming from the CL1. Now I'm going to plug in the very same chain. I'm gonna plug in this Cloudlifter X. You're gonna be able to hear that difference Difference, and then I'll be able to show the difference in terms of the amount of gain that's necessary from the Rodecaster Pro. So here we go. Check one, two. Check one, two. I have it limited. So now it's on the lower setting. I'm going to bring the gain up. I'm going to bring the gain up to about the same place that I was. And then now I've, okay, now I'm about, okay, now I'm at, and this is so that you are understood. I do not have it on the max setting. So you can already hear the difference. You can hear the difference of what my voice sounded like before and what it sounds like now. Now realize I don't have it maxed out. Okay, so I had to go in and add decibels. So right now I've had to add 57 dBs for my Rodecaster Pro to, to be able to get to the same level that I was at. So it is, it is requiring a little bit more from my interface. And so what I'm gonna do now, instead of just popping this out, I'm gonna bring my level down, pop it out, and then bring up my level to where it needs to be. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
I base it's a good thing I brought it down to the level I'm actually going to bring it down some. All right. So now I am at 26 dBs from my Rodecaster Pro, but I am at the very same negative six to negative 12 dBs of where I'm at from a gain staging perspective. That is probably the 35, almost, yeah. 35 to 37 dBs of gain that I'm getting out of this Cloudlifter X. But now you're hearing how my voice sounds in that chain utilizing the Cloudlifter X versus what was the Cloudlifter CL1. So you can tell a difference of how my voice sounds. I think it's definitely a different character, right? Different tonal character. Again, everything's flat. I don't have D, I don't have EQ on. I don't have any of that kind of stuff. It is just the pure sound of the Cloudlifter X in the chain. And you heard what the Cloudlifter CL1 was before. So you're getting just a different tonal character, but an additional gain as well. So there you go. I hope this video helps you.